Jambo sana kwa nyinyi wote. Hello and greeting to you all. My name is Eli Mundima and I'm the commander of the advance force of the Congo Rangers in Virunga National Park. Virunga National Park was founded in 1925 and is the oldest national park. It also has the most biodiversity than any other park in Africa and is a World Heritage Site. Back in the 70s, Virunga was home to almost 30,000 hippos. But in 2005, this figure dropped about 900 individuals. Their decline was mostly because of the disruptions caused by the war in Congo, which lasted for 10 years. Virunga is also home of the critically endangered mountain gorilla, with 380 individuals in the park. That is more than half of the world population, which currently stands at around 700. The work of Congo Ranger is to protect this wildlife, and to do so, we must patrol the park, which covers an area of around 8,000 kilometers squares. But because of the way the park is shaped, the advance force actually cover an area which is about the same size as the state of Connecticut and with only three working vehicles. We face many threats inside the park, including illegal loggers who sell our trees to companies in Uganda and Rwanda, as well as poachers who continue to trap animals illegally within the park. This is what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and it's important that we maintain regular patrols on the park to prevent all these illegal activities but we also face much more serious threats there are many displaced rebel groups in the park who make our work very dangerous here is a photo we found of four Mai Mai rebels. Based on this evidence, we are able to arrest one of the leaders pictured here in the green shirt. But this is only a small step. Last year, between October and December, rebel groups massacred hundreds of hippos in Virunga to sell their meat and their cunning teeth which contains ivory. The massacre reduced the population here in the park to just over 300 individuals, leaving now only one significant group of hippos to be found in Virunga, on the north shore of Edward Lake in a place called Ishango. This was a major blow to the park. Also, at the end of last year, Two silverback gorillas were killed by rebels inside the park. The news of their deaths through our blogs caused an international media outcry. This outcry gave us much hope. But we are still far away from being in a position to secure the future of mountain gorillas here. Since 1996, 100 Congo Rangers have been killed while trying to protect the animals here in the park. And so, in the beginning of 2006, the advanced force was formed. A group of 49 elite Congo Rangers who were handpicked and then given six months of special force training. The rangers have been deployed to help protect the last northern white rhinos from imminent extinction in Garamba National Park and have helped stem land invasion in the middle of the park where a population of gorillas are being protected. But we are still lacking in our effectiveness due to the equipment that we have. 
the roads here are extremely bad and this causes much damage on our vehicles which must be maintained regularly and we want to make sure that when our men are out on their patrols that they have a full uniform and enough food supplies to keep them going although we are employed by the state we have not received a salary for many years which has made it very difficult for our men to support their family while out on patrol at the beginning of this month we heard that rebels were planning to kill the last hippo group here in Ishango and so we were sent in to secure the area our presence in the area kept the rebel away and in the photo above you can see me with some of my men in a higher spirits at the end of our mission recently we have also more reason to be happy after so many years of working in almost complete isolation there now comes new hope with our blogs through wildlife direct on february 8th of this year wildlife direct helped me to set up a blog on their website so that anyone around the world could find out about our life and our work here in Congo through the blog there is the opportunity to financially support the work here after only a few days of being online happy holo zoo kindly offered to donate $344 each month which helps to pay for my salary and accommodation patrol rations and uniform as well as my medical cover and transport all the team at happy holo zoo are now very much part of the work that we do here in congo and for that i and indeed all of us here are eternally grateful we have already found sponsorship for few more of our men and here you can see joseph aloma writing answers to the questions he received from the children of Stratton Elementary in Colorado who have been continuously fundraising to support his work here this kind of support brings so much hope and the excitement is spreading through the rest of my men their morale is now at a height that was unimaginable only a couple of months ago here you can see the smile of Mwaka's face just seconds after seeing for the first time his page on the blog if you go to the wildlife direct website you will find on my blog a list of men who are still looking for sponsorship your money will not only pay for a well and salary but help towards protecting all of the wildlife here in Virunga National Park on February 17th one of our mountain gorillas safari gave birth to Ndeze and we have also learned that the adult female Mbarunumwe of the same family is also pregnant and due to give birth soon by the continual support through wildlife direct we know that there is a future for the park to help the work of advanced force of congo rangers please visit www.wildlifedirect.org and visit my blog to see all the men who still need your support thank you for your time kwaheri kwa kuonana natumaini tutakutanana huku ndani ya virunga Hope to meet you here in Virunga.